beveled the starboard inside rail temporarily. I have beveled the end, knocked it back as far as I can into the corner here, so that will give me as much play, at least a half an inch of fudge room, to uh, go up on the other end and then chop it off, and then we'll uh, uh, trim it in like we did the other one. Okay, we've got it set in now here on the bow, but the problem we have is that it's coming up because of this extra can't get down, so it's going to be off. So I'm going to try to get as close as possible on the inside here yeah, with a 90 and transfer that over here. And then give you something you can see. It's close enough. You can see it's an angle right now, but when it gets tucked tucked in where it's supposed to be, it'll be a straight line, but this is just a temporary one anyway, so let me go ahead and cut this off, and we'll come back and show you what it is when it's inset. Give it a temporary cut. It's a 15 tooth blade, and I should be using something like a 22 or 24. Okay, I'm going to go back now and uh, whack it on the end with my hammer and a piece of driftwood, and you'll watch this thing come in, and then we'll clean it out. Okay, I closed it down. Um, I'll pull my draw saw in there now. Let me uh, get my stool out. Okay, well... Okay, we got it one, one cut. Pretty tight fit. We can go one more time. And one more whack. Okay. Okay, I've got this end in. I've got plenty of uh, well, I've got room in the end, but I've got wood I can cut off when we widen up that gap. But I've got a nice, tight, square fit now, and I didn't have to mess around with it. Uh, now I'm going to uh, pull off the rail, put on my gel magic on the uh, spacer blocks, clamp it down, and I will have my rails finished, other than some corner blocks. Uh, on the stern uh, around the transom area that I want to put in. I have probably about four or five more small blocks that I, I have to glue up, cut and glue up. So we're getting close. Okay, I'm going to do some dressing up with my low angle plane uh, on the uh, rails. I've got them, uh, one side's already uh, cleaned up uh, and some of the other uh, in the corners and things, but uh, I was going to give you a little, like, you know, the little tips and tricks thing. I got my my blade out, my iron out of my low angle plane, got it set in its gauge at the right, you know, depth or at the right angle, so I, I'm only uh, sharpening the very edge. And then I've got, I've already used some uh, coarser uh, emery cloth on my, uh, uh, on the iron already. And now I've got over to some 1500, and this is basically several strokes on a nice flat surface and I'm using my, the uh, table on my bandsaw. Oh, I, I've used the uh, table on my uh, table saw but it's got junk piled up on it. And just a few strokes and then flip it over and very gently give it a little pull backwards to get rid of any bird that may have rolled up on the uh, top edge here. So um, put it someplace safe, and then we'll go put it in the iron, and then go back and uh, work on the uh, rails. Okay, I've planed down the nose and got rid of all the ridges where the rails were standing proud, and you can see where I added in the some extra blocks in here. This is a piece of oak, and then some maranti. These parts here came off off the outside of the block, and I was able to bevel the outside edges to fit to match up with the rails and get them uh, gel magic in 
So that's all shaped and I'll come back later. Okay, you want to come along. You're going to have some little bits of uh, gel magic here. start getting down. Okay. Don't do it in this area too long. Mix it up. You can see I got it pretty much plain down right now. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, roughness in the grain here that I'll come back. Just lightly press long strokes. You don't want to get short stroke waviness in here. And then come down and then sight down the edges so that you don't get a little edge along in here that all of a sudden rolls off. You want to be really careful that you get it squared up. We'll come back later and round these edges over, but right now we want to get them flat. Uh, when you round them over, some of the rounding uh, gives you a 3D effect which hides some of the, you know, some of the problems that you may develop as having a straight edge, but right now you want to try to get it as even and as straight as possible. So we're getting down now to where uh, straight edge on it, you know, I'm, I'm flat enough. I got a little bit of, get a little bit of, there I can take down some more. It's not imperative that it be perfectly flat as long because it looked flat. So got a little bit of roughness. Also, be aware of which direction is going. Uh, the rails want to be plain this way. When I go that way, there's enough rise in the grain on one side that it makes it want to dig in. So don't be really pressing on the plane. Take long strokes. Okay, the other thing you want to do too is uh, always follow along behind with a cabinet scraper and then just put your burnishing tool on it and put a nice egg on, on this one side. Just drag it along. And you can really feel those edges, especially the front. It really smooths out the, uh, the edge on the plywood. Gives you a great and then gives you a good finish at the same time. On the uh, stern rails here, just kind of use your body as a brace and pull at you. And give yourself nice clean strokes. It's starting to come in real nice and rounded. I've still got to cut in that uh, corner and put in here. Okay, I've got all the holes drilled, all the screws in. All I have to do now is go do some finish work on this. But one of the other things I like to do at this point now that I have my rails on, is I don't need the cross brace anymore. The rails, no movement. So I'm done. That obstruction is out of the way now. So I can get in and, and round them off and clean them up. And uh, we'll do some work on the uh, putting those corner blocks in. And I think I might add a piece to the, uh, the breast hook up on the bow.